Yeah, yeah. Then I you have a whole heap of other ancient man. Not from Portland. Aito. Aito is a terrible ancient from Portland. Terrible, terrible, wissy, wissy, wissy ancient from Portland. See? So now I'm in Portland, St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, and a couple of ones more in a Kingston and some in a Anova. There's a most of the, the ancient I'm playing with concentrate and things in Jamaica and things, you know? I'm sure you say the man, they nah, use no pot, they nah, use nothing. Them, never heard them smoke. I just eat them, eat herb, and I like I know a steamer and things still. And interestingly though, I had reason somebody might talk about the herb and the herb steaming. I was always oh, that the ones that start steam herb and things still. Kojo is an elder that show that. Kojo is alone by Bob Marley place. All the while. I was a walk with him to lion main thing. I said, now if you know say, the reason the man, man, man say, Moses, Moses, I'm saying Moses must see the burning bush that was not burning. So in the man, I said, the burning bush is herb, you know. But to the burning bush, was that herb? Was that burning, though? Is that a spiff or a fire key? I said, steam, I said, steam. So that made you try and think, you know. I said, I laugh like how they laugh. See, I said, Trump. The beauty is the simplicity that the man them reason. They don't give no big, big explanation about them. I said, it's just life and, and, and life, life teaching. They just operate off and things, you know. But I find that even the steaming herb is a thing because when you steam the herb, it actually tastes like how it smells. So it means that the heat releases the actives much faster and things still, see? And so you actually get more from steaming herb than from smoking because it's still inside it. You know, the heat activated, it cools down the water, it comes through here. So when you burn it now, a lot of it goes out into the atmosphere and things. Just like when you cook your food and the man says your pot smells good. Is the food smell released, the enzymes being released, I must smell it. So some of it has gone out into the air. You know, but it tells that food and plants have much more to it than we actually think. Because whether you smoke it or whether you cook the food, you're still getting a lot out of it and things, you know. Just make sure so whatever you're cooking or using is really good things you're using. I think that's what people need to, to focus on a lot and things. Still. But we also find that when you eat the uncooked food too, your mind becomes more in tune with how aeration is. Because I start to penetrate and say, what you know, the food that I consume the most is air. Here is the food that I consume the most, you know. And so clean air is very important. But I also know that I am an electromagnetic being. So I can understand the importance of realigning myself with the earth. Poles. If you read a book like You Fur by Laps and Rampa, I'm telling you about how you can sleep from north to south or south to north. And your, your, line becomes, your body becomes aligned with the earth magnetic field. And the rate at which the earth age is like it's that kind of way. But get that book, it's a nice book to read. So it starts to make so much more things clear to eye about the ancient far eye, you know. Because the ancient far eye man now wear no shoes. Because he's talking about the earth and the earth vibration and he's connected to the... And he's right. He's right. You see? He's talking about his chance being an antenna and he understand what neuromelanin is. And he doesn't have to use that word but he explain quite clearly. He might tell you, boy, I'm going to with life and so he wants to eat the food which is most alive. So he eat beer and cook food. And he's talking about the earth and he's talking dead. And can't die is not a regular principle. There's a principle about him, man's higher consciousness, I think, which actually tells about a lot of Indian persons who go through this process. If you read a book like Paramahansa Yoga, then they tell about the breathless, deathless, and things we actually went through and things still, you know. So these are things being said by some ancient bingy man, and that just being said, but by being done by some ancient bingy man who never have a book like what I have. Why? It comes back to the first part of the reason. The book that he was reading was his own book of life. It's creation. He might watch. He might go tell you that man is the only animal who cook food. Matter of fact, he tells you that man is the only animal who peel food. You answer me, I say? But then I learned say, most of the micronutrients in the food is below the skin and around the seed. So when you're actually peeling the food, you might be getting rid of a lot of the micronutrients. And I still remember when my mother usually cook bananas, she said, cook the banana in the banana skin. Because there is something about it. They want to cook pumpkin and don't eat the pumpkin skin. You know, so there is something. You ask me, I say, our man say, watch now. Drink the pot water because you boil all of the strength out of the food in the pot water. So your people have them ways of communicating to the eye about what is in, you know. And, but my friends say, we don't appreciate the people in the brain, you know. So you face a guy who has come out of the universe and tell them things that your grandmother don't tell from a long time. It's come like, all the people get excited nowadays about herb. 
I will call it neutral school to cause. When I granny done to say if I you if I have a headache I'm put rosemary in my head now, I go alright. I make an entire like coconut a a arm and leaf from my head and my good. You know? Or if I have problems in a your intestinal areas or in a certain part in your, your, your pelvis area you can go use um, like a guinean weed. I know we know that guinean weed is the best thing for prostate problems and all so guinean weed can break up fibroids out of women, uterus and them thing there. So I said true I granny never certified now your face say our knowledge never solid. And we get misled by certification. As you said, you have me now, you know, it's a preparation of the things about um, live sip, etc. etc. And while it is good, we find that some people are trying to create a little elitist vibration around it and things still. You know what I say? And I tell you, the first live food man must be a farmer. Because it's him for to eat all food, half of the thing as is. You can't be more live in eating food than a youth who grow in a country and be a fruit tree around him. Check it. Remember, say, Jamaica was saying, you know, say, when you have mango season, you know. Nobody now cook no food in a fire. Yeah, but I'm saying wash them pot and turn it down, it's mango time. It's a symbol of your choice so when you have fruits in season in places like Jamaica. You them eat so much food that they forget to eat all them dinner them yard. Parents all beat them come here yard, come eat dinner. So it's not nothing new or magical. It's just that people going to live as all them shall live. The breast milk is the first. The baby must be the first I shall amble. The baby is the first I shall amble. What right, is cooked food come out of your mother breast? It's be a live sip. It's the most live sip that you can sip in your life. I have eat everything in your head for you. It build your immune system. It give you all the nutrients you want. You can live on it alone. Check it out. The only non ear food that people live upon alone for a period of time, you know, is breast milk, you know. So when I youth, I get breast milk alone for the entire year. That is one year out of fasting upon live food. I never get sick yet. It's after I'm starting to get the regular food now. So it kind of, the structure kind of change. It probably will create an imbalance in the youth system. And you're saying probably ill. And you try to rebalance it by giving them what you're giving them and things, you know. So I find that the more natural the thing is, and the more idle it is, it's usually less problems you're going to have with it. And usually better for you and things too. Well, let me hear you say, man.